just stepped into the um, Japanese American Museum out here in LA. This is my first time here. It looks really nice. I'll give you guys a little tour. What's that? Remembrance Project. What is community? Most of us belong to a variety of communities, both communities of place and communities of spirit. Community is not just where you live, community is also about who you are. Any community is a process, it takes hard work and commitment. Community is where your heart is. I love this community, guys. Community, I love it. The Japanese American community is made of made up of people who identify with each other on the basis of shared ancestry and common experience in the United States. The changing Japanese American community is as much about spirit as it is about place. We are on common ground with all Americans, with all people. I like that. Moving walls at community projects. Huh? Remember this project? This is when uh, in World War II, when uh, Japan and Japan and uh, America is going to war, and then Japanese citizens were forcibly removed from the U.S. mainland. Wow. Uh, Upwards, went up in their own, so you gotta get the fuck out. And where did they go? February 19, 1942, President Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9066, which instigated unfair indignities and injustice for over 285,000 people of Japanese ancestry residing in the U.S. and abroad, including unlawful removal from their homes and unconstitutional abridgment of their rights. In 2012, as we mark the second anniversary of this historic event, the Japanese American National Museum is launching its newest firm, nearing online initiative, the Remembrance Project. This project encourages individuals and families to remember their history and to pay tribute to the unique experiences of family members Friends and other individuals affected by the signing of EO 9066 on World War II. Wow. Wow, guys. It's really standard and basic, seems like. But I kind of like this structure here, how they got this. More than 10,000 Japanese Americans were incarcerated in barracks like these at Wyoming, Wyoming's Heart Mountain and Concentration Camp during World War II. Hmm. After the war, the barracks were sold to local homesteaders. This one belonged to rancher Ron Morrison, who used it as a storage shed. It had two rooms of the original barracks. He had a room in front of was 20 by 16 feet and was meant for a family of two or three or three or more bachelors. You can see the small enclosed entry like chimney. Enclosure for two pot belly stoves, one in each room. In all the camps, a barracks was about 20 by 120 feet, divided into four to six tiny apartments. Overcrowding was common, especially at the beginning of incarceration. Reminds me of Chinatown in New York City. They live in really close quarters there, too. Talking about like maybe 10 Chinese people to like one tiny New York apartment. It's probably like 300 square feet. It's crazy. But you gotta do what you gotta do. It just goes to show you black people, we're not the only ones suffering. It's other racist stuff like racial oppression. much to do in LA. <laughs>